How's it going everybody? This is Manny from Low Tech. Today we're going to be looking at Retro Arena on the Odroid Go Super. The latest release of Retro Arena was made to include support for the Odroid Go Super. I am a fan of the scrolling style menu system, so that's already a plus for me personally. It's also nice to see the built-in moonlight support. The big question for me though is how is game performance with this operating system. Your OS can give you some performance gains in emulation. So I'm endeavoring to see if this performs better than what I've been recently testing, which is EMU Elec 4.0. For this video, I'm specifically testing N64, Nintendo DS, Dreamcast, PS1, and PSP. I did run into issues getting the FPS counter to display on the majority of the systems other than PSP and DS. Whether I went into RetroArch or I did it through Retro Arena, it would not display in those games. Out of the consoles that I tested here today, PSP, I had to change the resolution back to 1x, frame skip set to auto with a value of 1. Drastic, I didn't need to change anything, but it did have frame skip enabled with, to automatic with a value of three. Before we get into the gameplay, if you enjoy the video, I'd really appreciate it if you could hit that like and subscribe buttons, and that way you won't miss out on any of this emulation goodness. Now, let's take a look at some emulation performance on Retro Arena on the Odroid Go Super.
So I've spent quite a bit of time now with Retro Arena and EMU Elec 4.0 on the Odroid Ghost Super. I will be moving to Botocera next so that I can do more testing and compare Botocera with Retro Arena and EMU Elec. For now though, between Retro Arena and EMU Elec 4.0, of these harder to run systems, which one runs it better? So for Retro Arena, I'm giving it the PSP crown simply because I can get more games to just run on it. Now whether they run good or not is another story, but they run. I was running into a lot of issues on EMU Elec where the game simply would not run. They would crash, I'd get a bunch of different reasons why, and nothing I could do would change the outcome of that. The Dreamcast Crown is also going to Retro Arena because Dead or Alive 2 and Quake 3 Arena ran substantially better in Retro Arena than they did in EMU Elec. The games didn't run at 100% on Retro Arena, but the audio lag definitely was a major improvement and the game ran much smoother in Retro Arena than it did in EMU Elec. And I was using the same core, same settings. The only difference was the OS. The Nintendo DS crown goes to EMU Elect. The reason being, games struggled on Retro Arena that did not struggle at all in EMU Elect. Perfect example is Super Mario Bros. The different stutters that did not happen in EMU Elect, but it did in Retro Arena. Some of the stuff that was off camera in the menus and stuff like that, there was a lot of lagging and stuttering. And again, I used the exact same settings, drastic, same frame skip, same value, only difference was OS. The PS1 crown is kind of a toss-up. reason I gave it to EMU Elec is because in Retro Arena, off-camera, in the menus and stuff like that, I was getting lag that I did not get in EMU Elec. So I gave it to EMU Elec. The game itself performance, pretty much the same, but since there was a little lag in the menu system, that was not present in EMU Elec, I'm going to give it to EMU Elec. Nintendo 64 is going to require more testing for me to give it a crown. The games I did test on Retro Arena performed similar to how they performed in EMU Elec, so I'm going to have to test more games before I can determine which runs it better. I have had a lot of comments from viewers, I have talked to some other YouTubers, and the consensus definitely is that Retro Arena runs N64 a lot better, and so does Botocera over EMU Elec 4.0. So I'm going to continue to test out N64 with this, and then also moving over to Botocera, do testing there, come back with an update video so that we can know which OS runs which console the best. Well, I'm going to call this video a wrap. I hope this video was informative and enjoyable. I want to thank everybody for watching, and I hope that everyone has a great day.